Can Starlink 2.0 really change the entire internet game? We will be telling you in today's video. In a world dominated by 4G and 5G, this new competitor is ready to join the race and most likely will be able to dominate the market. So what internet speeds can Starlink 2.0 provide? How much will it cost? Has Starlink already released a premium version of the 2.0? Stay tuned to the end as we tell you all about this project. Elon Musk is currently the richest man in the world, being the mastermind behind trillion-dollar companies like Tesla and SpaceX. He is also the founder, CEO, and chief engineer of SpaceX, where he has created groundbreaking technology like the largest spacecraft in the world, the world's first reusable spacecraft, and now the Starlink. So what exactly is Starlink? SpaceX intends to provide high-speed satellite internet service to every part of the globe by launching a mega constellation of satellites in orbit around the Earth. Since its inauguration in January 2015, the Starlink project has grown in scope, both in terms of planned availability and in terms of the number of satellites deployed. The Federal Communications Commission, a U.S. government agency, awarded SpaceX $885 million in federal subsidies in December 2020 to help extend broadband connectivity to places of the U.S. with little or no internet connectivity. On May 23, 2019, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carried the first 60 Starlink satellites into orbit. By June 2021, there were around 1,800 Starlink satellites in orbit. SpaceX President and COO Gwynne Shotwell said at the Virtual Macquarie Technology Summit in June 2021, we've successfully deployed 1,800 or so satellites, and once all those satellites reach their operational orbit, we'll have continuous global coverage. The FCC approved SpaceX's request to launch more than 2,800 Starlink satellites in orbit in April 2021. Currently, Starlink has over 2,000 satellites orbiting. However, the total number of satellites launched is much higher. The reason why the number is at 2,000 right now is that every satellite has a lifespan, and SpaceX has designed all its satellites in a way that they go into self-destruction mode once their term has been served. SpaceX has launched multiple satellites in the recent past and is constantly aiming to get more and more of them into orbit. What is the price of Starlink? The base service provided by Starlink comes at $499 for the hardware, followed by a $99 service charge per month for a speed of nearly 85 megabits per second. Nevertheless, this is just the average speed, and it differs from place to place. Last August, France's satellite connections were so strong that Starlink recorded an all-time high speed of 140 megabits per second on the base model. However, in February, Starlink announced the Starlink Premium, an advanced model of the existing Starlink service, which can provide speeds of up to 500 megabits per second. This model's hardware could cost nearly $2,500, followed by a $500 monthly service fee. What is the current status of Starlink, and what was the catastrophe they faced recently? The Starlink network will be available in countries where SpaceX is seeking regulatory certification. Musk claimed that Starlink had shipped 100,000 terminals around the world in a series of tweets. The billionaire pointed out that Starlink served 14 nations and that licensing applications were pending in others using emojis of national flags. Luckily, not many countries have any issues with Starlink satellites, and currently, Musk has managed to get 25 signatures to avail Starlink, with over 145,000 users. Almost every country has been showing full support to Starlink. However, there are exceptions in this case as well. In India, the government has requested Starlink not to carry out any activities and has told the public to completely shun the network and not subscribe to their services without any licenses or dire needs. One possible reason behind this could be the existence of Jio, an internet company run by Indian billionaire Mukesh Ambani, who is also the 11th richest person in the world with a net worth of nearly $90 billion. In a time when India was in need of high-speed, low-cost internet, Ambani created the company Jio and has dominated the internet market in India with nearly 450 million users. Hence, there is a possibility that the government wants to prohibit external companies from entering the Indian sector and further boost the local companies. 
Other than that, in Starlink's constant effort to launch more satellites, they even faced a catastrophe recently. A geomagnetic storm has damaged at least 40 of SpaceX's 49 Starlink satellites, launched in the first week of February 2022. SpaceX revealed this on Tuesday and even said that this accident has struck a costly setback to Elon Musk's satellite internet service. On February 3rd, the affected satellites were launched aboard a Falcon 9 rocket and were scheduled to be deployed around 210 kilometers above Earth. Since 2018, SpaceX has launched more than 2,000 Starlink satellites, with plans to launch at least 12,000 more as part of a global high-speed satellite internet network. Scientists have voiced alarm about the low-orbit satellites, with one research indicating that they are producing streaks on telescope photographs. Astronomers have cautioned that this could make it more difficult to detect deadly asteroids. According to the Astronautics Research Group at the University of Southampton, 50% of Starlink satellites have been involved in deadly accidents or close calls, and tens of incidents happen on a weekly basis. It is almost miraculous how the satellites have managed to escape the low-orbit storms and asteroids. Hold up, viewers. Before we tell you about the other concerns that are being raised by Starlink satellites, we would really appreciate it if you could show your support to our channel by liking this video and subscribing to Elon Musk Facts. Now, let's check out the concerns raised by Starlink satellites. Astronomers are concerned about the night sky's dystopian future. If Starlink alone has 42,000 satellites in low Earth orbit, it's hard to determine the total numbers of satellites zipping through the night sky, including those from its competitors, especially China. This is because China is as ruthless as the United States when it comes to chasing ambitions, if not more so. Now, you may wonder, why does Starlink need so many satellites if there is an environmental concern to them? According to the European Space Agency, satellites in low Earth orbit, which travel at a speed of 7.8 kilometers per second, take about 90 minutes to finish one revolution around our planet. As a result, satellites in low Earth orbit can't transmit a signal as regularly over a large geographic area as satellites in higher altitudes can. As a result, thousands of satellites must be orbiting at the same time to ensure connectivity. Regardless, deploying so many satellites comes with a price. Elon Musk's Starlink has definitely managed to provide high-speed internet connectivity to regions where no one thought data would be available. Despite the concerns raised, this project has been sailing smoothly, has been accepted by multiple countries, and is only set to grow in the future. What do you think of Starlink? And would you purchase it if you had it in your country? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.